Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. This is a concise, well-crafted summary and it highlights only the important keywords. Hallucination. So hallucination is nothing but there is a false uh, perception. And this is of the objects or events involving the senses. So you have the sight, you have the sound, you have the smell, you have the touch as well as the taste. So what are the types of the hallucinations? So types of hallucinations, it includes the auditory. So auditory hallucinations are nothing but MC, that is the most common type and you have the perception. So perception of the hearing something in the absence of a stimulus. So the first person auditory hallucination is nothing but a thought echo, there is thought echo. So here the first person uh, hallucination thought echo, when a person can hear his own thought and he feels that his thought is echoing. Next is the second person, auditory hallucination. The patient is uh, able to hear voices while uh, talking to the patient. Sometimes these voices can command him. So you can have commands as well. So it is commanding him. So next is the third uh, person auditory hallucination. Third person auditory hallucination is where a patient is able to hear two or more voices. So two or more voices and these voices are talking to each other. So there are two types. That is these voices are discussed about the patient and running commentary on his action. Then moving on to the visual hallucinations. So they are seen in case of the schizophrenia. The patient is able to see things and uh, see them real to, to him, but it is not seen by others. So example will be the flashing of lights or it can be the animal or the human face or the entire human. Now uh, when you look at the most common hallucinations uh, in organic mental disorders or are the visual hallucinations. Next moving on to the olfactory hallucinations. So here they are seen in the temporal lobe. Temporal lobe epilepsy. So temporal lobe epilepsy as well as in case of the schizophrenia. So the patient can smell something bad. So they smell something bad however others are getting no such smell. Then looking at the gustatory. So gustatory hallucinations they are seen in temporal lobe epilepsy. Temporal lobe epilepsy. So temporal lobe epilepsy as well as the schizophrenia. So the patient can taste something sweet, sour, bitter. Then comes tactile. Tactile hallucinations. So they can be superficial or over the skin. And they can be hot, cold, tingling, etc. They can be hot, they can be cold, tingling as well. Next, they can be kinesthetic. So, they can be kinesthetic. There is a sensation inside the muscles of the joint. The patient can also feel some sensations inside the internal organs. The tactile hallucination, they are also known as the formications. So, they are also known as for formications. The patient experiences small insects and they are crawling, small insects crawling under the skin. So they are also called as a cocaine bugs. So they can be cocaine bugs all known as the magnum bugs. The cocaine users complains of the feeling of crawling bugs under the skin. And the clinically scratch marks, there is scratch marks are seen and it is along the other signs of the cocaine abuse. Now looking at the special hallucinations, they can be the functional hallucinations, the reflex hallucinations, the extra campaign hallucinations, that is the false perceptions that occur outside the limits of a person's normal sensory field. So outside the normal, outside the limits of a person's, outside the limits of person's uh, normal sensory field. Next is the autoscopy or the phantom mirror image. Next looking at the hip Hypnagogic, hypnagogic and the hypo, 
pompic so hypnagogic or hyperbombic hallucinations so they are nothing but the fleeting perception perceptual uh, experiences that occur during the transition this is from wakefulness to sleep now the hypnagogic hallucinations and from sleep to wakefulness the hypnagogic hallucinations and the sleep to wakefulness that is the hypnagogic hallucination to learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe Thank you.